Hey, everybody in here. Yep, you guessed it. I left them out in their little hutch overnight. That little screened-in window, I covered it with cardboard. And there is a little door on the other side. I closed that up. I had put the heat mat in there a couple hours before I was going to put them up for the night. And yeah, I did have to chase them and physically put them up there. Um, and I, I kind of worried because... The moment I made the decision and put the heat mat in there that I was going to leave them out overnight, it started raining. It was a very light rain. The chickens were still running around. And even with that little tiny light rain, they were fine. They weren't acting cold at all. They aren't acting cold this morning. And they did just fine. So thank goodness. I am going to leave the brooder box inside just in case something happens. And I need to, you know, rush out here and put them inside. But they're happy. They're having a good time. So, oh, I'm relieved about that at the very least. Well, yeah, there's one in there that looks like Cleopatra. I think it's, it may be that one. It may be one of the other ones. But Cleopatra is the one that got caught by the hawk. It's still early. I'm tired. So I'm glad that I've got one that's kind of reincarnated her looks. Yeah, it's that one down there. Nope, 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 nope. I can't see it. I don't have my glasses on. But they're having a good time, so this is a relief. So when I get ready to incorporate them into the other flock, I will probably take this whole setup and put it in the main coop area. And that's when they no longer need heat. So it's going to be a, oh, probably around three weeks before I do that because I don't have an extension cord long enough to reach all the way out there. I used to have that one orange one, but it stopped working. So the only challenge is because the three leghorns aren't going in with the main flock. Um, so I don't know what I'll do to indoctrinate them to the leghorns, but um, I'll figure it out. In the meantime, the plan is to move this whole yard inside the main yard. And so the other flock can kind of get used to seeing them, you know, being around them. Like I did with the other one the other like flock <laughs> um but they had that big coop to run around in and go in and out of but i think this will work unless something else uh, comes to mind for me to do ah baby chickens are so delightful what are you doing boy hmm? what's that boy doing what's that boy doing give you a scratch <laughs> this leg starts going usually when I give him a scratch yeah you need to be brushed out again boy don't ya oh you're shedding so bad still you gonna get up you gonna say hello <laughs> he's like no mommy I want belly rubs oh these baby chicks are driving me crazy every time I try and Walk away to do something they keep getting at. So I found another remnant, but it was, I had to like piece it together and put it around and they're still getting out. I thought I was safe because I brought the netting all the way over here. There's a few pieces that have been joined together, covered the door. Well, one of the leghorns found a weak spot and she got out and she got out towards the bottom. So I've gone ahead and put the cardboard back all the way around it oh my gosh well let me see if i can figure out which leghorn it was yeah it's one of the ones underneath there she got all the way into the barred rock pen and i was shouting at papa you know no papa don't and he was scared uh because i thought he was gonna get it but the barred rocks didn't bother bother her or him or her it's the smallest one the one uh, not the one in the back. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. Anyhow, 
it was supposed to be cool today, but it ended up heating up. It was supposed to rain for a little bit and then cool down, none of which happened. So I have been fretting over these baby chicks all day. I think the wood cutting will have to be saved till tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Hopefully this will work. Uh, I just washed my hair. I gotta pull it back. It's hot. That's better. Even though you do have to suffer my magnificent forehead. So I wanted to take a look at these baby chicks and see if any of them are roosters. Okay, I think that one looks like a rooster. I didn't want to start talking right away because they jump off. There is a difference in cone size. Comb. Yeah, that one reminds me of Torch so much. But this one's got more barring. So I don't know. I mean, look at the tail. That could be a hen tail. But this one's got the biggest comb. <laughs> Finally they get up here. Come greet me. Yeah. I think that's a rooster, don't you? See if we can see this one over here. You see the difference? Yeah, there's a difference. Look at the pretty colors on those feathers. It's like a barred rock Easter egg, or a barred Easter egg. Or. It'll be interesting to see what color eggs they lay. This one right here kind of looks like it may. Yep, look at that. Oh, shoot. Come on, let's get the comb. frustrating. Yeah, I think that one may be a rooster. I am so sorry that I can't film through this netting, but that one has a bigger comb and the tail's a little bit different. Definitely a bigger comb. Come on out. Please let that be a rooster. Yeah, I think that's a rooster. I do. That one. Well, time will tell, and I'll get a better look at them at some point without all this netting obstructing the view. So maybe two roosters. Who knows? Last night, I had a scare of my life. Whenever I tuck the chickens in and close their coops up, I always do a head count. Well, I went into the small coop of the main flock, you know, the little wire thingy with the tarp over it, and I only could find five chickens. So I went back up into the van and recounted them. There wasn't an extra chicken there, and I looked all over the place, and I could not find this chicken, and it, it was Zuma Zoom. And finally, Zoom Zoom comes sauntering out, kind of, she looked a little confused, really, um, so I don't know if she'd been picked on and she was hiding. Um, but she finally came out of her hiding spot, wherever it was, she came out. It looked like she maybe was underneath or maybe behind the coop. Um, and in which case they kind of get a little stuck. So I need to put something back there to prevent them from going back there. I about, oh my gosh, my heart sank. And I thought, what did a hawk get in here and get out without me knowing it? But she's there. So she's Okay. She got up into the coop, and thank goodness, they were all accounted for. Well, enough chicken drama for one day. All's well that ends well. Um, I think tonight I'm just going to cook me something nice over the rocket stove. I did harvest that one patty pan. It isn't completely yellow yet, but I don't think it's going to get any more yellow. So I was thinking of slicing that up and breading it and frying it. I don't know. I may dehydrate some of it if it ever gets not humid enough and dry enough but uh yeah 
it's been a tiring day and I really haven't done that much. That's okay. There's always tomorrow. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.